Good morning mga kamatters, ang aking mga tagamat, enthusiasts, and resilient students dito sa aking YouTube channel. Again, I am your teacher for this morning, for this day, Sir Johnny Olorbida. And I hope na napanood nyo na ang ating unang video lesson. This is our second video lesson in teaching fractions. Handa na ba kayo? Guys, please don't forget to like and subscribe on my channel para updated kayo sa mga susunod pa nating videos on how to learn fractions. So, let us move on. Our lesson for this day is about addition and subtraction of simple fractions. We are going to begin with similar. Isa-isay natin para hindi kayo mahirapan. But before that, remember guys that there are two types of fractions. They are similar fractions and dissimilar fractions. When we talk about similar fractions, fractions with like denominators or the same denominators. The example here are 3, 7, and 2, 7. So the denominator is 7. The similar fractions are fractions with unlike denominators or the denominators are different. Just like 1, 7, and 2, 9. They have different denominators, 7 and 9. So we are going to concentrate with this one. We are going to add 3, 7, and 2, 7. Are you ready? Okay, let us try this problem. Your mother bought 2 third kilogram of apples and 1 third kilogram of grapes. How many kilograms of fruits did your mother buy in all? Why do you think that your mother buy fruits? Yes, it is very essential today because of this pandemic, all of you must eat fruits, which is rich in vitamin C para malalabanan natin ng sakit na yan. So, let us answer this. What, uh, what operations are we going to use? Addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division? And you're correct. We are going to add 2 third kilograms and 1 third kilograms. So how are we going to add? So, we are going to add 2 thirds and 1 third. So we are going to add 2 and 1 at the numerator. And remember, you are just going to copy the common denominator. And if our answer have the same number, the same yung numerator and denominator, that is equal to, yes, 1 kilogram. Remember, when we add or subtract similar fractions, simply add or subtract the numerators and copy the common denominator. And remember, simplify or lowest term the resulting fraction if necessary. Tulad ang tinuro ko sa ating unang video lesson, how to lowest term fractions. And remember, when the sum or the difference is an improper fraction, we are going to change it into mixed number. Remember that, guys, always express your answer in lowest term. Let us explore more. Think about the answer. 310 plus 710. Any guess? You can comment. Okay, that's good. The answer is 10 over 10 or 1. So just simply add the numerator. 3 plus 7 is 10. And copy the same denominator and express your answer in lowest term. The numerator is both 10, so the answer is 1. Very good. Let us try another. How about this? 3 and 1 half added to 4 and 1 half. So operation is addition also because of the word added. So you are going to add the whole number, the 3 and Four. What is the answer? Then, add the numerator. 1 plus 2. 
then copy the same denominator. So, what is the answer? Okay, did you get the correct answer? The right answer or the final answer should be 8. Bakit siya naging 8? Because 3 plus 4 is 7. 1 plus 1 is 2. And copy the denominator. Remember guys, if the fraction in the mixed number is the same numerator and denominator, the same number, that is equal to 1. So this is equal to 7 plus 1. So our final answer is 8. Nakuha guys. I hope na nakuha natin. Let us try another. Okay. There are three fractions. One half plus one half plus one half. What is the answer? I hope you know it. Okay. Good. Very good. Remember, when your answer is an improper fraction, you have to change it to mix number. Look at our answer. 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 3 and copy the denominator 2. The numerator is bigger than the denominator. So this is an improper fraction. So we are going to change it to mix number. So we are going to divide 3. That will be the dividend and the divisor is 2. Yung numerator anak ang nasa taas and denominator ang nasa labas. So, 3 divided by 2 is 1. 1 times 2 is 2. And 3 minus 1 is 1. So, our answer is 1. Itaas lang natin itong 1 na to. Gawin natin siya numerator. So, the answer is 1 and 1 half. Diba? Sa mental math, kitang-kita na natin yan. 1 half plus 1 half is 1. Diba? Then, 1 half. So, that is 1 and 1 half. I hope na nakukuha natin ang ating mga sagot. So, that is the final answer. How about this one? Let us try subtraction. 615 minus 315. So, subtract the numerator. The answer is... What is the answer? Very good. So, the answer is 315. So, let us see. Remember, if your answer is a proper fraction, it must be expressed in lowest term by finding the GCF, then divide it both in numerator and denominator. Okay, what do you think? Is This will be your final answer, 315? Yes, it is not yet the final answer because this is the higher form. Meron pa tayong lowest term at meron pa silang GCF. What is the GCF of 3, 15? Of 3 and 15? Yes, that's right. The GCF is 3. So we are going to divide 3, 15 by 3. So what do you think will be the answer? Okay, so the answer is 1 fifth. So 3 divided by 3 is equals to 1. 15 divided by 3 is equals to 5. Our uh, answer is 1 fifth. It is already in lowest term because the numerator is 1 or this is an example of unit fraction. Okay, another do you want another? How about this one? 8 and, 8 and 6 10 minus 5 and 4 tenths. So same method, we are going to add the whole number. So we are going to add 8 and 5. So what is the answer? Then add 6 and 4. What is the answer? Then copy the denominator. Okay. Is this your final answer? The answer is 3 and 2 tenths. What do you think? Okay. Yes, but wait. Your answer is not yet in lowest term. What are we going to do? That's right. You are going to get the GCF of 2 and 10. And what is the GCF of 2 and 10? Very good. That's nice to hear. So the GCF is... So we are going to 
I divide 2 tenths by 2. So, our final answer will be 3 and 1 fifth. So, we are just going to copy the 3. Then, sabi nga natin kanina, we are just going to divide 2 tenths by 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1. And 10 divided by 2 is 5. So, our answer is 3 and 1 fifth. Good job, kids! I'm so happy at nakukuha natin yan. So, how about this? This is your turn. 3 and 2, 6 added to 3 and 4, 6 is equal to blank. What will be the answer? Okay, I hope na nakukuha natin. You can try to solve it on your notebook. Okay, are you done? It's so easy. 3 plus 3, what is the answer? 2 plus 4 and copy the denominator 6. Yes! Good job! The answer is 7 because 3 plus 3 is 6 and 2 plus 4 is 6 and copy the denominator and just what I said, 6 over 6 is equal to 1. So that is 6 plus 1 is equal to 7. Ang gagaling ng aking mga matters. Next! 1 fifth plus 4 fifth plus 3 fifths. Okay. What do you think is our answer? 1 plus 4 plus 3 and copy the denominator 5. Yes, our answer is 8 fifths but it is not it yet in lowest term so we are going to express it into mixed number because this is an improper fraction. So that is 8 divided by Five. So, 8 divided by 5 is 1, 1 times 5 is 3, and our 8 minus 3, uh, 1 times 5 is 5, and 8 minus 5 is 3. So, our answer is 1 and 3 fifth. Ang gagaling talaga ninyo. How about this one? 9 and 3, 6 subtracted from 12 and 5, 6 is equal to blank. Remember the word subtracted from. So what will be our minuend here? 9 and 3, 6 or 12 and 5, 6? Mm -hmm. Are you sure? Yes, very good. Our minuend will be 12 and 5, 6. So, our equation will become 12 and 5, 6 minus 9 and 3, 6. That will be our equation. Okay, it, it is your turn to answer 12 minus 9. What is the answer? 5 minus 3. And copy the denominator 6. Oh, do you think that is your final answer? Let us see. Okay, our final answer is 3 and 1 third. So, yung iba, 3 and 2, 6 ang answer. So, remember, 2, 6 is not yet in lowest term. So, we are going to get the GCF. And the GCF is 2. Okay, so when we divide 2 divided by 2, that is 1. And 6 divided by 2, that is 3. Then copy the whole number. That will give you the answer 3 and 1 third. So I hope na nakuha na. Okay. So very good. Clap, clap, clap naman. Palakpakan ng bawat isa. Natutuwa ako that you get our lesson. How to subtract similar fractions. And also, how to add it. Okay. So let us have our reflection. Type letter A if you understand the lesson well. Okay, on my chat, on our comment section. B if you still confuse. And C if you don't understand the lesson. So I hope letter A yung aking makikita diyan sa ating comment section. But nothing to worry guys. Meron pa tayong kasunod na video diyan on how to add and subtract these similar fractions naman.
So, goodbye mga kamatters, ang mga math and tissue enthusiasts and resilient students. Again, I am your teacher in fraction, Sir Johnny Olorbida, and hope to see you soon on my video number 3. Bye guys!